Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a social media design with animation. Actually, we're going to do three different designs. They're all going to be pretty simple. So let's go ahead and get started. I have uh, here all of the text that I'm going to be using and then these are the colors that I'm using. Of course, you can make this any color that you want. And I'm going to come up here to File, New. We're going to just stick with a basic square image, a 1080 by 1080, 72 resolution. We are in RGB 8-bit. And I'm going to go ahead and click Create. I'm going to come back over here and grab my text and uh, bring it over here. And then just kind of move everything around a little bit. So this is going to be my main text. So I'm going to leave that somewhere right around there. And then we're going to have an offer code and then I'll put this down here at the bottom and then the product name is going to go up here somewhere roughly around there. All of this stuff is going to be centered. So I'm just going to grab everything letter V on the keyboard, center them. If you press command in the letter A, it's going to select the entire canvas. So you can center everything to the canvas command in the letter D to let that go. So before I change any any of the text I'm just going to come over here and change the background color to black uh, because all of my lettering is going to be white and I want you to be able to see this so we're going to come over here back to the text and I'm going to grab all of that I'm going to come over here to my character panel that's also here window and character from there and I'm just going to click on that color and we're going with the basic white for everything Okay, I'm just going to move this around. So my product name, let's go back over here to the character panel. Uh, my product name I'm going to leave at 61 pixels for the main text, which is the, the part of this that we're going to animate. I'm going to uh, take this up to 205. I want it to be pretty big. And I'm going to change the font to this one right here impact or any any bold font like that will be fine and I'm going to go ahead and set that to all caps and then I'm going to come down here to the offer code I'm going to bring that down right around there because I want this to also be a feature um, but not so much as the text itself so what I'm going to do because uh, we're going to be using this to animate the background as well later on in the video. I'm going to go ahead and add a background to this. So we'll just add a little box here. And I'm not going to use an outline. I'm just going to fill it with white. So that means that my text is going to be black. And I'm actually going to make this a bold. So I'm using Cormorant SC for this and this is in bold. Everything else is a regular. Now I'm going to grab the offer code text, hold the shift key and grab that rectangle there, letter V to bring up these alignment tools. And then I'm just going to center that inside of that box, right click and I'm going to convert that group into a smart object right here. The 20% off text. Actually, I, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me come back here to the ends at midnight and set that up. I'm going to actually make this smaller. So I'll bring it down to 41 pixels and then I'm going to spread it out across the bottom. So right there is fine. So now we can center everything one more time. Just make sure that it's centered. Okay, now I'm going to come over here to my 20% off text or whatever. This will just be your main text right here. I'm going to right click it and convert that to a smart object. And I'll do the same thing with the product name text, just in case you decide to animate that text as well. And I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. It's important that this text right here that's going to be animated is a smart object. That way you can change the text without interfering with the animation itself. So since we have this set up as a smart object, I'm going to press command and the letter J and that's going to make a copy of that. So I'm going to bring it under and this is actually going to be the color. So I'm going to 
hold the shift key and then my down arrow key and that's going to nudge this about five pixels down and then i'm going to continue to hold the shift key and then press the right arrow two times to nudge that over to the right and then i'm going to change the color here but i'm not going to use um, the character panel i'm actually just going to put a color overlay on it so i'm going to double click right here on this layer to bring up the layer styles and i'm going to add a color overlay let me cancel that for a minute. I'm going to bring over my colors just so that I have them available to me. I'll just place those up there for now. I'm going to come back in here, double click, click on color overlay. I'm going to click here and then just uh, grab that color, click OK. And then I'm going to add another one. I'm going to hit that little plus icon right there to add another color overlay. And for this one, I'm going to use this blue color. So I'm going to click OK. OK again. So I have two color overlays. Only one will be visible at a time, but um, we're going to use this in our animation. You can add as many colors as you want here. But to keep it simple, I'm going to use just these two colors. For this one, I'm going to turn off the colors up there and maybe move that product name up a little bit and of course you can align this you know using the grid and everything but uh, this is just you know just for example okay so let's get started with the first animation i am going to come up here to window timeline and that's going to bring the timeline up down here this is really big so let me bring it down Okay, when you bring up your timeline, you're going to have uh, two options right here. The first one is to create a video timeline, and the second is to create frame animation. We're going to go with frame animation for this one, and go ahead and click on it, otherwise it's not going to do anything. So just click on frame animation once you have that selected, and you'll see your first frame come up right here. So everything that we have visible on the screen right now is going to be our first frame. If you click on this little icon right here, the little plus icon, that's going to add another frame. It's exactly the same right now, uh, but what I'm going to do is just turn off that color, the top color overlay for the 20% off um, the color. And then I'm going to come over here. Um, this is the tweening button. So this is basically going to blend these two layers. So it's going to add frames in between them to blend the two together so what we're going to do is we're going to tween with the previous frame right here and i'm going to do just two for this one so it's going to add two frames uh, between these two layers and we want uh, all layers parameters go ahead and check off position opacity and effects and then click ok and that's going to add those layers in there now we're going to add another layer here and I'm going to turn that back on and we're going to do the same thing. Just go to tweening. The tween dialog box will come up. It has all of the same settings here. So go ahead and just click OK for that. So right now it's at zero seconds. So it's going to go really fast if I press play. This is what you're getting. So I'm going to go ahead and slow it down a little bit. I'm going to grab the first one, hold shift, grab the last one. And then I'm going to come down here to the time right click and I'm going to choose point 0.2 and see what that looks like. I think that's a little bit better. It just it's all going to depend on what you want but um, you don't want it to be too slow or too fast. And you can save this PSD file to use over and over again as a template. You can add an image to the background, put a logo or something in there but you can also change. So we have this animation happening here but we can also change this because we've created a smart object from it. So this is our main animation layer right here. So I'm going to go ahead and double click right there to bring up the PSB file for that. I'm just going to change the text. So I'm going to press the letter T on the keyboard. So I need to make sure that my text is going to fit inside of this canvas that we have here. So I'm just going to grab it and shrink it up a little bit just so that I know that it, it's fit in there properly command and the letter a to grab the canvas and then just center it there go ahead and close that make sure to save it and then when I come back 
you can see that it's changed to 30% off, but my animation hasn't changed. So it's still going to have all of the same effects on there. So this color effect, you can also add it here. It doesn't have to just be, you know, here. You can add it to any of these. So let's go ahead and move on to the second. Okay, we're going to come back with our first frame in here. I'm going to go ahead and leave my shadow back there but what i'm going to do is add a gradient so i'm going to come here and add a new layer and i'm going to bring up my colors again just so that i can get the colors that i want so i'm going to use this like bluish purple color and i'm going to use that pink color again okay now i'm going to come here to the gradient tool and you can see that it's picked up my foreground background color because i had it set up to do that so that's going to be that first one in your basics Okay, for the gradient, I'm using this one, the reflected. I have the opacity set to 100% and I'm going to bring it all the way down here. And then just with the little crosshairs that you see, I'm just going to drag that click and drag over the canvas and turn off my colors. So you can see I have this basic gradient here. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate this three times so that I can rotate this. So I'm going to press command and the letter J three times. So now I have four copies of this gradient. I'm going to grab this one, the letter V to bring up my transform controls. And if you don't see these, just make sure that show transform controls is selected up here at the top. And I'm going to press shift and then just drag this to 90 degrees the same thing here this one i'm going to drag to 180 degrees and then this top one i'm going to do 90 degrees but the opposite counterclockwise so you'll see right here where that blue is it's in this corner that corner that corner and then now down here so i have all four corners covered here and i'm going to actually put these in a group as well command and the letter g to group those and i'll just name them gradients Okay, so for my gradients, I'm gonna come back over here to my timeline. Okay, I'm gonna start with this first frame and I'm gonna make sure that they're all off except for this first one right here. I'm gonna press this little plus icon to duplicate that frame. And then I'm gonna turn on the visibility for this next one. Now I'm gonna do some tweening between those two. So I'm gonna uh, make sure that uh, tween with previous. We're gonna add five frames between. We want this on all layers, position, opacity, and effects. Go ahead and click OK. Now we're gonna add another duplicate of that next layer. And we're gonna turn on visibility for the next one up. We're going to do the same thing. Click on that little tween icon and it's going to have all of the same settings. That's exactly what we want. So go ahead and click OK for that. We're going to duplicate again. Turn on this last one. Go back to the tween icon. All of the same settings. Click OK. And now we're going to duplicate one last time. And I'm going to turn them all off just so that we're back at that first one that we used. And then again, we're going to do the tweening. Click OK. So you should have 25 frames at this point. Now, right now they're at zero seconds, so it's going to be pretty fast. And if you like it, you know, go ahead and leave it at zero. I'm going to try it at 0.2 seconds. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so that is the second animation. I'm going to show you one more using the same text. I'm going to go ahead and leave the gradient here and I'm going to add another layer. For this one, we're going to be adding like a tech, like a dot texture to the back of this. So I'm just going to use a basic brush. I'm using a um, basic hard round brush here. Uh, but I'm going to come here to the settings, the brush settings. If you don't see your brush settings, window and brush settings there to come in to this little panel right here. The size for this is 16 pixels and I'm going to take my spacing all the way up to 1000% and I'm going to come here to scattering and I'm going to scatter 1000 and that's pretty much it for that. I am going to come in here to color dynamics. My foreground and background jitter is at 100% and my hue jitter is at 15% and I'll go ahead and leave it there. And then I'm just going to come into this blank layer that I just created and start 
drawing all of these little dots. So I'm just basically scribbling this here. So that's my first layer. Now I'm going to add a new layer. And I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so now I have two layers with the dots on them. And I'm going to go ahead and group those. Command and the letter G. And I'll just call this dot. And I forgot to delete all of this. So I'm going to just grab all of these and then um, throw them in the trash. Okay, so we're back at that original one. I'm going to go ahead and turn off that top layer. And I have this second one here. And this one is really simple. All I'm going to do is duplicate that and then turn on that top layer, turn off the bottom one. And that's pretty much it. We're going to make sure that it's uh, looping forever. So that's all down here. And then I'm just going to press play. And that's our third animation. Make this go a little bit slower. We'll go to 0.5, see what that looks like. Yeah, I kind of like that better. So those are three simple animations that you can use for social media design. And now all you have to do is come up here to File, Export. And we're going to export them for the web. You'll get this right here. And then just make sure that you're exporting as a GIF file. And then just save it on your computer or wherever you want to save it to. And that's it. I do have playlists for animation and also for social media templates. If you're interested in either of those, I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description so that you can check either of those out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and share it. If you want to pick up the templates for the projects that we did today, make sure to visit prettywebs.com. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description for that as well. And if you like the content that I share on this channel, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss another video. And as always, visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.